I get the distinct pleasure of uh, sharing the history of the award and introducing Mike Rossi, who's going to introduce uh, Ken tonight. The Dively Award started in 1983, when George Dively at the time challenged the Harvard Business School of Northeast Ohio to really spark an interest in the entrepreneurial spirit of the area. Jointly, it was decided that the best way to do this would be to honor entrepreneurs from the area who have made significant contributions and could serve as a model for other entrepreneurs. After funding the award for seven years, the Dively Foundation formally endowed the gift in 1990. Each year, the Dively Award is given to an individual that demonstrates substantial success in an entrepreneurial venture. These individuals are able to take an idea and turn it into a thriving business entity that serves customers, that serves employees, that serves shareholders, and serves the communities. The award is judged on driving significant growth from both a company size and profitability perspective. All of our Dively Award winners are awarded an honorarium and the Dively Chair. Ken has graciously donated his honorarium back to the entrepreneurs of Northeast Ohio. So before I introduce Mike, I'd actually like to introduce Drew Payloff, Assistant Vice President from the University of Notre Dame to share a special message. Thank you very much. And Ken, I have the complete honor tonight to uh, send a message back to you from Father John Jenkins tonight. And I'd like to just read it for you. Um, after the evening, we'd like to bring this back frame. So I'd like to just read you a letter that Father John prepared for you this evening. Dear Ken, I wanted to offer my personal and sincere congratulations to you on the receipt of this year's Dively Entrepreneurship Award. <coughs> the past recipients of this award are truly impressive in terms of their successful business careers and achievements. You, of course, are no exception and are equally deserving of this honor. On behalf of the entire Notre Dame family, it is my honor to wish you well on this very special evening. Congratulations once again, Father John Jenkins. Congratulations. And, and though I, I, I think Drew said it, but uh, that's the president of Notre Dame University. So when we ask Ken who uh, he would like to introduce him, uh, without hesitation, as a matter of fact, uh, I think it was about a microsecond that he said, uh, the right person is Mike Rossi. Uh, Mike has been his partner for uh, 25 years. Uh, Mike has been in the aviation industry for as long, 25 years. He's managed all facets of the business. He served in senior leadership roles for Corporate Wings, Inertial Airline, Flight Options, Mercury Air, and Directional Capital. Mike's leadership has been an important part of the success of these organizations. It is my pleasure to introduce Mike Rossi, who will introduce Ken Rickey. Jamie, thank you for the background on the Dively Award and for those kind words and introduction. It is my pleasure and my honor to be here tonight and be a part of the 2009 Dively Award and to introduce Ken Rickey. A sincere welcome to Ken's family, friends, business associates, and members of the Harvard Business School Club and their guests, and to the business community leaders of Cleveland. What the Dively Award represents is the spirit of being an entrepreneur. Ken has had this spirit for as long as I've known him, which has been since 1983. Ken is a self-made entrepreneur. 
in the private aviation industry and is an experienced pilot with over 8,000 hours flown. If you look at the many companies that have encompassed Ken's business career, every company has its own unique personality and vision far different from its competition. And they exemplify the entrepreneur with qualities like passion, creativity, innovation, the ability to evaluate and take risks where appropriate. He has incubated and created many successful companies. Under Ken's leadership, these companies have enjoyed explosive growth and provided enormous shareholder value. These companies have represented in total over 8,000 employees with operations throughout the United States. The headquarters for all these companies have been and are currently right here in the city of Cleveland. As you have read Ken's bio in your invitations, he has combined his passion for flying airplanes into many successful aviation companies over the past 30 years. The following companies were started, nurtured, and sold under Ken's leadership. Corporate Wing Services, a general aviation maintenance company sold to the Cleveland Jet Center. Inertial Airline Services, a component repair company for the commercial aviation industry sold to Heiko Industries, a public held company. Mercury Air Centers, an organization of 25 fixed-based operations throughout the United States sold to Macquarie Infrastructure, a publicly held company. The following companies are currently under his leadership. Corporate Wings, an aircraft charter and management company. Corporate Wings Technical Services is a commercial aviation management maintenance company. Sojourn Aviation is involved with buying, selling, and leasing corporate aircraft. Next in Aerospace, which is, is involved with the re-engineering of used corporate jets to create an increase in range and an increase in fuel efficiencies. Constant Aviation, a general aviation maintenance company that repairs corporate aircraft. And finally, Flight Options, a jet fraction ownership company. And all of these companies are under the umbrella of directional capital, which is the investment entity that is involved with all these companies. And I am sure He's still thinking of other companies to start. <laughs> Ken has been chairman and CEO of all these entities. Each of these companies have been successful, profitable, and created the foundation for his many successful ideas and the development of his employees. Ken has been an innovator and a leader in general aviation industry. His companies, Corporate Wings, Mercury Air Centers, and Flight Options have been a visionary in how jet charter, jet management, fixed-based operations, and the fractional jet company of today's are operated. In 1998, Ken completely changed how the jet fractional ownership industry operated by providing used jets instead of new jets, a state-of-the-art operations control center, and perpetual contracts for the jet share owners. That is why in the year of, in the year of 2000, he received the Aviation Innovation Award from his peers in general aviation for his development of flight options, which, is, which was, and still is, the second largest jet fraction ownership company in its sector. Ken's business career is not as simple and straightforward as I have tried to characterize it. Just like all entrepreneurs, there have been many issues throughout the years that have been very challenging such as cash flow, legal dilemmas, lack of capital, financing, employee problems, management depth, and economic recessions. But the real character of a person and a business is how these situations were handled. And since I had a front row seat, it has been truly remarkable how they were overcome. You must have passion, be driven, have vision, have perseverance, and the ability to solve problems to succeed in today's business environment, and Ken ex excels in all of these areas. He has created an unparalleled management team of trusted business associates who have been with him for many years. Ken's vision and work ethic is to always try to improve 24-7, as I can uh, personally attest to. He has developed the next generation of great aviation leaders and managers, 
many of whom embody Ken's philosophies in their own management styles and are here tonight to celebrate his achievement. The foundation of Ken's environment was created by three fundamental principles and are still used to this day. If you ask any of his employees what the fundamental principles are, they will recite back to you the following. Fanatical attention to detail. Employees are the foundation of a service company, maintaining long-term relationships. Each of these fundamentals creates a trusting environment which allows for creativity, vision, compromise, admitting to mistakes, and the ability to agree to disagree. Not only are these business principles, but they are also everyday life principles, and if followed, will most times lead you to the right decisions. Ken not only lives these principles, but in his spare time, wrote a book about them that was recently published entitled Management by Trust. Alongside Ken's business career, he has been very involved in many non-for-profit organizations and charities as a board member and as a sponsor. This is another testament to Ken as an individual. He cares deeply about people and organizations he feels he can make a difference to. I'd like to recognize these organizations. The University, of, University Hospitals, the Cleveland Clinic, Child Help, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, Gilmore Academy, the Catholic Leadership Institute, Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital, Parkinson's Foundation, the Christ Child Society, and the Honduras Child Society. Ken is also a member of the Young President's Organization and serves on the Business, Business Advisory Council of the University of Notre Dame. He keeps you busy. <laughs> Ken has had two important, strong, and compassionate role models in his life. His late father, Chuck, who I had the pleasure of meeting and working with, and it was through Chuck that I was introduced to Ken back in 1993, 1983, and his lovely mother, Mary, who is with us tonight. Mary, please stand. Sorry. I told Mary she would cry tonight, so she cannot stand, but Mary is a, is a truly remarkable lady who loves her son. And Mary and Chuck have been so instrumental in developing Ken into the person he is today. Also with us tonight is Ken's eldest son, Kennedy, who is a, currently a freshman at Gilmore Academy. It is always special when you can share an evening like tonight with your family members. In closing, I've had the privilege of being involved in Ken's business career for over 27 years, but more importantly, to have been blessed to have a friendship with Ken that has truly been remarkable. It is my pleasure this time to introduce you to Ken Rickey.